Good morning, magical friends. Welcome to the lover of butterbeer, Courtney here. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. We'd love to have you join our magical group of friends. Now, we have some exciting news today. Universal Studios Orlando, they finally made that announcement that we've all been waiting for. The Harry Potter is going to be a part of their new expansion that's opening in 2025. This will be doubling the park and it will be such an awesome addition. We're going to get right into all of the details that they announced today in their video that dropped. So Universal's Epic Universe is what the new park will be called. If you have not seen that in the past few months, it's kind of been floating around the rumor mill, but they have now confirmed that it is happening, opening in 2025. We better start saving up those galleons because we know we're gonna be spending a lot when we go there because there is going to be lots of shopping and I can't wait. So Universal's Epic Universe is going to be made up of five different sections. Celestial Park will be the first section that you come through once you enter the main gates. And they are calling these portals now. They are no longer gates. You get to portal into different universes, which, you guessed it, is going to be epic. Celestial Park, they're going to have shopping and restaurants and they're going to have green space and it looks like from the concept art they're going to have lots of different little like water features and trees. It looks quite pretty. I'm sure it'll look even better in person. But in that land there is going to be Constellation Carousel, Starful Racers, which will be a dueling roller coaster, and Astronomica. I cannot wait to see all the cool hidden little spaces that they have designed in this upcoming world. And from there, you should be able to, if the concept art is correct, looks like you'll be able to see the massive hotel which will be featured inside the theme park. Most places usually have these outside, but this one, it sounds like, is going to be in the actual park itself, which will be really cool because if you're in your room at night, I'm sure the park will be lit up and you'll be able to see the views will be unbelievable. So that one is going to be called Universal Helios Hotel. Looks beautiful. You have to look at the concept art. It is so pretty. From there, you will be portaled into all of the different realms that they are building. I cannot wait to see these. So first we have how to train your dragon, Isle of Burke, where, you guessed it, where everyone's dreams are gonna come true, we get to fly with dragons. I really hope that means we get to ride a dragon, but they didn't specify, we better get to ride a dragon because I love Harry Potter, but to ride a dragon from How to Train Your Dragon, that's gonna be really epic, which I'm sure is what they are going for. We also have Dark Universe, which will be all of the monsters and creepy things that Universal has brought to us in the past, only brought into the modern world, which will be very scary. I'm not sure how I feel about that section. I know lots of people love monsters and all the creepiness, never been a big fan, but I will definitely check it out when we go there in 2025 20, or six, probably gonna take me a little while to save up for that one but I definitely can't wait to go. I haven't been since they have done Hagrid's roller coaster, so I was planning on going. Now I just have to wait a little longer so that I can go when the new park opens. I will check out the dark universe. Probably just won't spend as much time there as I'm not a big Monsters fan, but I know lots of you are. They will also be opening Super Nintendo World, which they have already opened in California. I went there this summer. It is so cool. I'm not even a gamer. Don't game. Not a big fan of Mario, but you know what? You step down into that land and wow, it is so cool. The lighting, the characters, everything. We spent so much time there. I will put up some pictures. It was so much fun. So I can imagine as this park is going to be huge that the Super Nintendo World will be way bigger than the one in California, which will be 
awesome. I cannot wait to see how they change up this world because you know, both parks, they're never identical. They're always a little different and Orlando is usually bigger. So I can't wait to see what they do with this. And the moment you have all been waiting for, they are opening the Ministry of Magic and Fantastic Beasts. I did not think that they were going to actually do Fantastic Beasts because of all of the controversy that we've had lately about how it's not popular and they're not gonna finish the movie franchise and everything's being put on hold, but Universal is actually opening Fantastic Beasts. You get to step back into 1920s Paris from Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. I am so, so stoked. I heard years ago that Universal had bought up the rights to all of the different names like Fantastic Beasts, Lands, all different ones. So I was really hoping back then that they were going to do something with it. But then after all of the talk about Fantastic Beasts not being popular, I was worried that it was just never gonna happen. But it's happening. We are getting a Fantastic Beasts addition to Universal. I cannot wait to go there. You know me, I love Harry Potter, but the thing that I love more than Harry Potter is Fantastic Beasts because I love the 1920s, the clothes, the architecture, the buildings, <laughs> Nifflers, Picket, everything. It is so adorable and it's more adult than Harry Potter, which yes, when we grew up with Harry Potter, we were kids and now we're adults, which means I love Fantastic Beasts. It is so, so epic that they are adding it to Universal. But because Universal is epic, let's be honest, that's what they called the park for a reason. We are not just getting Fantastic Beasts. We are also getting the Ministry of Magic from Harry Potter. I cannot wait to see what they are doing with this. Does that mean we are going to get in a phone booth and ride down into the Ministry of Magic? Oh, I hope so because I'm going to be ecstatic. But even if not, I'm curious, are we going, is it going to be an indoor attraction? Because clearly the Ministry of Magic is usually an inside thing, but Universal is usually outdoors. So I'm very curious to see how they do this. They're keeping it very tight lipped on what they're going to actually have in the park. There is a ride. They said they will not mention or say anything about it. So we are just going to have to wait and see. As you can see here, they've already started construction. There is the wand, which is over the portal to get you in to the new Wizarding World section. So that means when we go to Florida and we go to Universal Orlando, we can go to three Harry Potter inspired areas. Two was good before, three is gonna be even better. And because this park is so much larger, here's hoping that the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts section will be even bigger than what we have come to expect at the other two parks. I cannot wait. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'd love to hear your comments and see if you've heard any other juicy rumors that I have not been able to find. Don't forget to follow along on my blog. I'm just getting that started. I've only done a few posts, but I will be doing one on the epic universe. Ironically, I had just done a small little blurb about it yesterday, talking about the rumored things that they were building. And then today they went and confirmed it. I, I'm just so happy this morning. I woke up and went, oh, finally, we get some actual details about what is going on at Universal Orlando. So if you haven't already done so, please hit that little subscribe button down in the corner. We'd love to have you join us over here at the Lover of Butterbeer. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.